you've won a phenomenal amount of awards. Uh, two BAFTAs, nine gold Sonys, British Comedy Award, all sorts of things. Do you think in radio winning awards holds you back? Because I, it used to be the curse of the Sonys, didn't it? I mean, yeah, Jonathan so Coleman did, yeah. won one and he got tipped out and so many people <laughs> win yeah. awards in radio and then within months they're gone. Yeah, I, it is really weird. I was talking to this uh, to someone about this to someone the other day. I, I think radio is the only industry, okay, whereby they're always keen to call the, the, the Sonys or the Arias as they are now. Yeah. The, the, the Oscars of the radio industry. They always, you know, that's always said in any, if you're a photocopier salesman and you go to the photocopier salesman awards, they are the Oscars of the photocopying sales industry, right? That's what everyone says. Now, the difference between the, the Oscars of the radio industry and the actual Oscars, or indeed any other award is, the moment you win one, it gets you nothing. You don't get a pay rise. No. Yeah, right. If you win an Oscar, your worth goes up, right? In the film yeah. industry, right? <laughs> yeah. Without a doubt, your your status, your income, your well, just everything about it, the, the yeah. house you buy, you know, everything goes up because you're an Oscar winner. Yeah. And you're you are set for life because you are always an Oscar winner. You will be offered far more roles because you're an Oscar winner. Ditto a BAFTA winner, I suppose. For, yeah. For stars, win a win a radio award the exact opposite happens nobody cares you certainly don't get any more money and you are uh, and even and when you, and when you inevitably lose your job in the next couple of weeks following the award ceremony um nobody will pick you up and give you a job despite that sitting on your shelf and i have no idea why the industry is no, like that and, and it isn't it's really it's weird like, i just want to make this clear for anyone who doesn't understand radio it's not john holmes being bitter and twisted about the award no. he's won and the opportunities that it hasn't loads of people people like danny baker i mean yeah, it's yeah, ridiculous same. ian lee has yeah. just you know, won that's right two areas in the last two years yeah including the one he won about a month before they sacked him from Radio. <laughs> that's right and he won the award for that show they sacked him from yeah that's right so that yeah. it is me, but imagine an Oscar. Imagine that was an Oscar, or a BAFTA, or a photocopying sales statuette. <laughs> yes, right. anything. Yeah. You go up on stage and you have sold the most photocopiers to the most offices around the UK in 2020, and they say, "Well done, you are the best photocopier salesman in your category. Well yeah. done. Here's an award." Right. Yeah. You go back to your office and they go, "Brilliant. Well done. You're fired." That's the equivalent of what happens in radio. And, and, totally and, and when you go looking for work at other photocopier companies, you're uh, shown. Not interested. Not interested. <laughs> they go, well, your style. We do like your style of photocopying salesmanship. <laughs> it's really good. And it's unique. And it's different. And it's unlike any other photocopier salesman there is, actually. And we love it. Personally, we absolutely love it. But it's not right for the photocopying sales brand. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't. It's, it's I don't a strange it. business. Okay. So all I do every night is I sit surrounded by my various awards, crying myself to sleep. <laughs> <laughs>